Alrighty, Lumberjacks, welcome back to another Logging from Scratch episode. Uh, so last time we were playing, we had brought that wacky ass load to the mill. It's still sitting over there. We'll get to that when we get to it. But this episode, I'm going to do some more processing. I see we're kind of working in the wrong direction here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop in this bad boy. And we're going to straighten her out. So what I want to do is actually... I should probably squeeze between here. Just kind of gently slip between the cracks here. So, what I have been doing is actually walking forward and processing in front of me, but I end up blocking the way. So, this time, what I'm going to do is turn this sucker around, and we're going to back up in reverse and take out these piles. That way, everything works a little bit better. So, what I want to do is get rid of this stick, because this is going to cause that other pile to activate every time we bump it. And we don't want that, so. Goodbye, little stick. Go over there. Now, we're still counting to 15, so I think I'm going to keep that routine up. Watch, I'm going to find out that cutting to 15s was a terrible idea, but it's too late because we have 100 piles, so we'll just have to deal. There we go. Oops. Oh, I just got to make sure this thing... Yeah, okay, good, perfect. I always get this in innate fear that I forgot to hit the recording button sometimes, and I'm like, man, this will be a whole episode of just me talking to myself, and nobody will ever see it but me, because I'm living it. So we started doing live streams. Obviously, you guys probably well that know by or know that well by now. Um, we started doing some multiplayer live streams. Right now, we're just doing it with our logging team. So the guys that we have right now, um, like on the FDR team, and a couple of people that we know from way, way, way back. But um, I don't know what our plan is. We may potentially open it up for more people. I don't know. In 2017, we had a lot of people, but. We had a lot of people that didn't get along with each other, and it just caused this big dramatic thing. So I kind of just stopped doing multiplayer for a while, because honestly, I was like, just tired of dealing with people and things. And For the most part, everybody's pretty good. There's just a couple, a couple of people. And then it sucks, because I'm the boss, so I have to be the one to decide who plays, who goes, who stays, who has to get along with who. And, you know, heavy lays the crown when you're dealing with that stuff, because... A lot of these guys I, I really like on a personal level, like we're really good friends or I know them from other stuff and it's great, but when they start, like I'll like two guys, two guys will be like the best dudes ever and I'm like, oh, these guys are really awesome, I like these guys. Then all of a sudden, the two guys start battling each other over whatever, I don't know, I'm, I don't even have any examples to give you, but whatever, they have a disagreement or whatever the case. Then it's, like, up to me to, like, kind of pick sides. And, oh, should that person play and that person play? And I don't like doing that. I hate doing that. That's why I kind of sit back and just kind of do my own thing most of the time. Because it's just more fun to relax. But we have a really good team. Like, obviously, my FDR modding team is the ones I play with right now. Which is Chad and Chad and Josh and, and uh, Lydia there. Oops, I'm going to pull this out of there. And Colin kind of joins us when he can there, so that's fun too. But it's uh, it's tricky to uh, add new people that will that you can try to guarantee will get along with each other. That's the hardest part about. I'm sure anybody who plays in multiplayer servers has people they like playing with and people they don't. It's like jobs. It's kind of like jobs. You know how you have that job and you all, you know, for the most part, you get along with all your coworkers, but there's the one guy that everybody hates, but for some reason he gets along with one other guy and, you know, it's just dramatic. I just don't have time for that kind of stuff. Humans love drama though, so maybe, maybe I should invest in being more dramatic. What do you guys think? No, I don't want to know. Don't tell me your opinion. <laughs> don't tell me your opinion on that one. I don't want to know. But yeah. So, like I said, we've introduced the multiplayer scene a little bit again. But we're taking it really slow this time. I'm not going to do mass applications and bring in all these people that may or may not be good. I don't know. There was a lot of opinions over the last time we played multiplayer. And I was just like... Tired of putting out fires, so I'm like, you know what? If no one can get along, or if everyone can't get along, then I can't get along, and no one can get along, and we're not doing this. So, shut her down, boy. And we did. 
but I do like multiplayer logging. It's so much fun. If you guys haven't played multiplayer logging with a friend or with like another obsessive logger like myself, it is a good time. What I would really love to be able to do is I would love to be able to get everybody together and go do like a um, public multiplayer logging and just have a good time. Like that would be ultimate. But the problem is too many people, there's a lot of people who like griefing and just being stupid or who are, they think they're better than other people. So they like, you know, they'll bully other people out of jobs on machines. And it's just like, ugh. at the end of the day, like who cares how good you are as long as you're having fun. Like for most of the people, when I play with them, like Colin, for instance, Colin's a good example. Colin's my, my very best friend. And I've known him for since I was just a wee little guy. And he lives in a town not too, too far away from me. But he he's the one who does all the video work for uh, FDR logging. Like, he's the guy, when I'm operating the machines and all those videos that you see for promo mod releases, he's the one filming it, doing all the crazy cool angles and just, like, has a good time. Anyway, but he, he, does, like, he doesn't mind playing the game, but he doesn't, like... You know, he doesn't have joysticks and he doesn't like, you know, operating these machines and stuff like that because he just likes, he likes to do the video stuff and hang out kind of thing, right? And I don't, like, it's not like, oh my god, you have to be the most skilled and best person on the team to play. Like, that's totally not what it's about. For me, if it's like, if you can come in and you just want to have a good time and you're fun and people get along and you make good conversation... You can run around and cut up bits of wood on the ground for all I care. Like, you don't have to be, like, a full-fledged machine operator. I would rather have a whole bunch of people running around right now on the ground picking up scraps of wood while I process this wood, just having a good conversation, than a hundred skilled guys who can run machines as good as I can, but hate each other or think they're better than each other and want to fight it out. Right? Like, totally. So... That's why I always say it's not like you require a whole bunch of crazy skill to play this game. But when you play multiplayer, it's about hanging out with guys that have kind of an equal fun. And Am I hearing a helicopter? Sorry, I'm just tripping out here. I totally heard a helicopter in game, so that must be like ambient effect. But anyway, sorry. Fell off topic. I was just like, am I hearing a helicopter outside my house? Or is that in game? And I'm like, why is there a helicopter in game? What the hell is happening? <laughs> So yeah, we'll introduce multiplayer slowly and see how it goes. There's nothing worse than like inviting somebody in and then turning out that everybody hates them after they've played a couple times and then you having to be the guy to be like, hey, guess what? You can't play anymore. And then they're like, well, you all suck. And then there's a big fight and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, that all just sounds negative. I don't like negative. So let's stay positive and hope for the best this time around, I think we'll I think we'll do good in 2019 because a there's a lot less desyncing problems, so that's a huge that's a huge one. Um, well, at least for us, there is when I'm hosting, it seems really good. Um, there's a lot less uh, lag on people's like equipment, so it looks a lot better. I don't know. I think it'll just all equate to a good experience for everybody. Uh, let's tab to the mill. I want to take care of that ugly load. Ooh, here it is, the load of which we do not speak. This is it. All right, we ready to try to unload this horrid thing? Here, what I'm gonna do, I'm back up here. I'm gonna try to see if I can scoop this out of here without losing those little pieces. I don't think it's possible. Totally on the wrong side of the truck here. Oh God, this is tricky. This is why nobody does this, because of this right here. Oh, mad skills. Ah, uh, well, they were mad skills anyway. I got one little piece to stay on. That was kind of cool. But then the other one fell off the other side. I see it over there. Oh, you little bugger. Oops. Reason number 75 why you never unload a truck this way. More like reason 175 why you don't unload a truck this way. There we go. All the little bits and pieces. Yeah, so in addition to um, putting out an upgraded version of this map, if it's not out already, I mean, it's possible I've already done this uh, by the time you see this video. 
Um, but in addition to it uh, getting rid of those stupid little trees, I want to fix this cell point. I think I've mentioned that before in other videos, but my plan, and you may already have this, but my plan currently is to push these thingies back further up against this wall here so that the cell point's more open because the cell point actually sits way back like all the way up to here and I want to make it so the bunk's actually big enough you can drop stuff into it because right now the way it's sitting you fill it up like this and it kind of makes a mess so I was hoping to uh, maybe get that corrected I haven't really thought about exactly how we're going to do it but I know the way we're doing it right now is kind of annoying a lot of people, so I don't really want to do it this way anymore. Because, like, you'll stack it up, and then it starts to fall towards you. Well, you've seen the other unloading videos I have where all it starts to build up and fall down, so... I was thinking of either making a full bunk that you can feed into, or just a drive through one so we can just sell it, if that's what re people really want to do. I might do that, actually. I might make a drive-through flat cell point so people who and there's a lot of people who do not like unloading trucks which is totally fine I get it loading's a lot of work to come back and unload it all again can sometimes just be tedious especially if you're doing it with like a loader like this but um, I would say I'm probably going to be putting out a full like log unloader uh, Josh is working on one right now um, that basically has a clam on it that can unload this whole truck, like, no problem. Well, like, like if it was fully loaded, it could do one of these bunks on its own, no problem, for sure. So, I think that'll be nice. That will be helpful, for sure. But let's get all this wood off this truck. I think I got enough time in this episode. My god, who knows. I can't believe how much wood we got on the back bunk. Probably could be loaded from the back like a master. I guess, uh... One thing I also really want to do is I, I'm going to take a really another hard look at uh, doing like a dangle head, like a knuckle boom style. Uh, mostly just because I'm going to sell this because this is just going to come plopping down on my head here, isn't it? Oh, maybe not. Are you going to stay there, logs? Oh, oh, there's always one, hey? Anyway, sorry, what I was trying to say is I'm going to take another look at dangle heads because I'd really like to try some loading from the back kind of stuff so uh, what do you think that's going to be worth I bet you it'll be like 50 60 grand 56,477 so that's pretty close but anyway yeah so uh knuckle booms are something i really want to get into and looking at the way the physics are in 2019 i think well i'm thinking it should be possible i don't know for sure though but it should be easier to create one, I think. I don't know. The only thing I'm having troubles with is making um, making dangles as an attachable. That's my one kicker right now. I'll have to actually make um, a dangle machine. But, I mean, if I'm going to make a whole machine, I think I might as well just make it as part of the machine. If I have to make a separate one. I mean, I would like a solution to that, but I just don't know what to do. Don't know what to do. I tried to make it as... I tried to make, like, a coupler. That was my original plan. Like, basically a, a, an attachment that you attach, and then it becomes a dangle head off of that attachment. But it really didn't like that idea. It didn't work at all. It only let me do one attachment, so I was like, oh, that's annoying. But I thought maybe you could do an attachment with an attachment and then have the physics on that secondary attachment be uh, dangle basically but I don't know if that's an option don't think so I gotta take another swing at it and see where I end up but it definitely wasn't working the first time I tried it we got that one little teeny piece stuck in there too I'm gonna try to grab that See if we can fish it out of there. How about it? Oh, man. Playing hard to get. Oh, I got her. You just have to get that perfect bite. So you're not crushing it and you're not not holding it. <laughs> perfect. All right. 
Now for the grand total, what do we got? 36, so 50, 60, 70, 80. It was almost a $90,000 load. That's crazy. It's because we cut it so well. We did all that work. That's actually, we have time, so let's bring this guy back to the bush. And then uh, I guess we're going to start loading longs. Well, we have some shorts too, so maybe we'll do another one of those wacky kind of hybrid loads. I don't really like those though, so maybe not. We'll see. I plan to update this map this weekend, so God, I'm hoping it doesn't screw with my save game. I'm gonna keep a backup of this, uh, uh, sorry, this copy of the map just in case it screws the save game. I want to keep playing on this. So, worst case scenario, we'll just find a machine that unloads better. Oh, I should have went the logging road. We're gonna cheat and use the non-logging road again here. We're gonna go this way. Go down our little road here. Because it's going to be our block road. we got to fix this up, too, one of these episodes. Come up here with, like, a... Actually, what I could do is walk with the buncher. That'd probably be fastest. Let's, uh... While we're waiting, let's grab that buncher and go hike down there. we still got a little bit of time here, so... Long walk for the buncher. Let's put her in four and read a book. I haven't actually tried these tracks running over anything. What happens if we try to run over stuff? Does it run it over? Oops. Kind of runs it over. Yeah, so I've kind of find a, a nice medium ground on these tracks where they still are a teeny bit bouncy, but they settle nice. The problem with the last ones I had were they were really hard uh, suspension. So what would happen was you would uh, you'd stop on a spot that was uneven and it would basically just bounce back and forth. Bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce. What's going on here? There we go. It's making some weird noises there. But yeah, we just kind of bounce around. It was like so annoying. So you'd like sit there and be in first person. It's like bounce back, bounce back, bounce back. And you're like, what the hell is going on? So now uh, it can climb hills pretty decently. If you try to climb something like that mountain, it still won't let you up there. Anything at about an 80% grade, I think, is when it starts to slip, which is totally realistic I mean it's actually less realistic because I've seen these things at like 40% grade slip especially these high cab things so okay so we're almost over to where I want to be and then basically what I want to do is just walk through and chip up Let's see how we do here running these over oh yeah we're good uh, I want to clean up sorry not chip up the uh, road here Let's turn our buncher head on. See if we can clean this stuff up. Oops. There we go. Okay, then we'll clean our road up. If we can find all the stumps. I need to open the claws on this. I can just crush it. Oop. It doesn't make any sound when it hits them. It's funny. Just It's just like painting. You know, it just cleans it right up. So I want to smoke out this whole road. That's my plan. If I can see the stumps. Wow, it's really hard to see stumps in this grass. Of course, we're like 20 feet in the air, so that probably doesn't help. I don't think there's any stumps in the grass. No, this was the crossing between the two tree lines, so we're good. That's a stump, though. I love how it just, like, you can just massage it out of existence. Just a quick... A nice, gentle, like, you're dead now. Bye, tree. Totally realistic. We need a stump grinder. We can just use this bad boy, huh? This is not how you should be clearing stumps. This is kind of... This is kind of cheating, actually. Well, I guess it's... Not really. Well, yeah, kind of. I don't know. It's a... Uh, questionable way of removing stumps. Still time consuming though. What'd you do for a living? Oh, I clear stumps with a buncher. <laughs> oh, cool, I think. Did that tree get cut but not fall or something or is that just a stump laying next to it? I'm not going to deal with it. I have no idea. Let's just pretend nothing happened there. 
Okay, there's a stump. Oh, there's a stump. There's a stump. How much time we got left? Oh, we're over our time. Okay, we'll get to this. We'll get to this gully right here. This opening. Take out a couple of these. So we know what we were doing. And then I want to build my own road. I want to plow it through. I don't want to use the terrain editor. Just because I'm a map maker and I don't believe in using a terrain editor. As a map maker kind of person, I want to use my own. My own equipment in game to build my own roads. Makes it more fun. Okay, so let's shut this guy off. Um, yeah, so when we come back to the next one, if I remember, we should be cutting away at this road. And uh, we'll start loading up some longs and we'll see where we end up. So, yeah, if you guys uh, liked the video, leave a like, leave a comment. Do not forget to subscribe. And if you're in the bush, don't forget to hug a tree. All right, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.